uh, hi everyone greetings of the day i am kushal jain and today i am presenting the video surveillance and uh, anomaly detection system in front of everyone on behalf of me and my friend rishabh sharma so um, the basic aim of this project is to detect the anomalies and crimes in real time from the cctv footages uh, uh, that are captured from the devices in public places and even the homes and offices so uh, basically our aim is to detect uh, the crimes and the abnormal happenings in the CCTV footages um, uh, using the machine learning algorithms. So uh, our complete process and the complete code is divided into six parts. That is, uh, that ranges from importing all the necessary libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Seaborn, OS, and TensorFlow and warnings. And uh, after we import all the necessary libraries, uh, we'll be generating and configuring the hyperparameters and the directories. The, uh, what basically the hyperparameter does is it tells the machine learning algorithm to act in a particular way explicitly so we, we are telling the machine learning algorithm algorithm that how to deal with data and how to learn things okay so uh, we are specifying the directories we are uh, just feeding the data set from the proper location into the uh, directory from the directories to the code and uh, we are deciding the seed size image height image width and the batch size and uh, the epochs that are the iterations the classes and the class labels so uh, what happens is when we are generating a data set, where we, when we are constructing a data set, we have the data from multiple locations, multiple sources, and it is not possible to capture and gather the data in a particular format, in a uh, like uh, uniform format and uniform formatting. So uh, we put it to the code and we fix the image height and image width and we make it uniform. So uh, the data we are feeding and the data we are processing should be uniform and uh, so that we get the proper results from the machine learning algorithms so as you can see here we have the image height and image width as 64 so the image will be 64 by 64 uh, and the batch size of the image like the size of image that will be fed to the machine learning algorithm at once will be the 64 so 64 images of 64 by 64 will be fed at once okay so uh, the hyperparameter uh, hyperparametering and directory configuration is done in this part after this uh, as we can see we have the data loading and pre-processing so we have a data set of around 15 lakh images so uh, that data set the, the images and the data from the data set uh, has to be loaded into the machine learning algorithm and the code so that it can uh, form a learning and experience and then it can generate the desired results and uh, as you can see we have the data loading and pre-processing code given here so uh, we'll generate two categories of the data one will be the test data and one will be the training data so for the ease of the code and for the improved accuracy we'll be having two categories the train and the test um, as we can see here the pre-processing here uh, uh, we have the parameters such as uh, shifting the width shifting the height rescaling the images to a smaller scale so that it is easy to uh, scan and uh, analyze the images to till the deeper level to the deepest level uh, we have the horizontal and the vertical flipping of the images uh, uh, the rescaling of the pre-processing functions and everything so uh, we'll be shifting the uh, width by 0.1 we'll be shifting the height by 0 0.05 and uh, we'll be flipping the images horizontally uh, and in a particular ways th these methods can be hidden trials these methods can be based on the uh, learning of the machine net machine learning networks uh, based on the learning of the deep learning methods so uh, we can decide according to our need so these are the parameters that are decided so uh, as we can see we also have the code of the particular train data set uh, we can see the color mode is rgb all the images that are captured will be the rgb colors and similarly we have certain more parameters so in this we have uh, 12 lakh images in the first class and one around 1 lakh images in the second class and all uh, these are 1414 classes each so as uh, as per our code we'll be generating uh, distribution of number of images versus the classes of the trained data set and similarly like uh, here we can see the parameters on which uh, this distribution is based on and similarly we have the test data distribution similar code and similar distribution well, not the distribution but uh, the code is similar and it also distributes according to the 14 classes that are fed to this code after all this uh, like uh, generate generating and configuring the hyper parameters setting up the directories plotting up the maps now we come to the dense net one to one that is our deep learning algorithm so dense net one to one contain it is a convolutional data uh, analyzing deep learning algorithm and it has 120 convolutions with four average pool and 120 layers so uh, this data set is basically used to get a deep learning of the deep learning so as the name suggests and as the properties it is for the deep learning of the deep learning so uh, it analyzes and processes the data uh, very minutely and produces very accurate results so uh, all this is the code and properties of how this algorithm is working we will not be going to the code very much so uh, these are the parameters that are generated by this deep learning model 
uh, we have total of 8 lakh around 8 lakh uh, parameters out of which 8 lakh 11000 are trainable and around 83000 are non trainable parameters so after all this uh, data feeding and uh, training the machine learning model uh, we have the training output to be uh, around 83% accurate and uh, with a loss of 1.71% and uh, finally we get around 83% accuracy in the deep learning model of the data set that we have particularly provided so these uh, accuracy, accuracy levels can be increased or decreased with the amount of time we have taken to train and make the machines learn so this can be increased to 86 87 percent as of now uh, and it can even be increased more if it uh, even give a larger data set so currently our data set is around 14 to 15 lakh images broad uh, if we give the more images we'll be having more accuracy so after all this we'll be generating a area under curve graph that will be uh, truth positive rate versus false positive rate it will be having all the uh, 12 parameters of the labels that we have defined earlier in our code that is abuse arrest arson assault explosion burglary normal scenes fighting uh, shooting robbery road accidents shooting shoplifting vandalism uh, and uh, like what we have and the center line is for the random guessing so sometimes it is not possible for the machine learning algorithm also to uh, make a judgment of what category the data or what category this particular instance belongs to so that things uh, are marked with the random guessing thing so it is always a possibility that the machine learning is also not up to the mark to detect uh, what the thing is because at the end uh, uh, humans can do anything so sometimes the machine learning can also not identify so with all this we can see as of now our uh, accuracy is 83.35 percent around around so uh, we can even increase it in the further steps uh, but as of now it is 83.35 percent also uh, we are planning to like just for now we have a code ready and we have the machine learning algorithms ready with us and it is able to process and detect the data as per the data set so in future we are planning to make a GUI for this and that GUI will be processing the CCTV footages that is uh, being given to the DVR, NVRs or some local storages and as soon as the data is captured by the CCTV it comes to the DVR or the storage device and from the storage device our application will take the data and it would be analyzing the data on the basis of the experience that is gained by running all these data sets and a machine learning and from that real time data our application will capture and analyze the footages and it would detect the footage for some anomaly or abnormal action or a threat and uh, in real time it would generate a alert and it would tell the security personnel or the law and order uh, maintaining body it would notify them for a quick action and uh, for maintaining peace and law and order so uh, as of now we are planning to do it uh, using the same algorithms and using the same mechanism uh, just uh, there is one thing that the data uh, the data set which is uh, given to this code right now has to be expanded a lot to increase the accuracy of the code so we are planning to do it uh, automatic on an automatic basis like when we are uh, into the application uh, when the application is in production and use we'll train the data set on a weekly basis so that uh, the data set becomes wider and wider and the accuracy becomes more so uh, this has to be trained on a regular basis to increase the accuracy and to get better results so uh, this was all about our code and submission. Thank you everyone for your time. Have a great day.